the last five uh, videos so we have designed a, a C amplifier for the 150 gain right now we will see is it actually giving that 150 gain or something else right so this is the C amplifier circuit now we found R1 is two times of R2 so that's why I have taken 10 R2 is 10 kilo and R1 as 10 kilo and we found RC as 1.5 kilo and RE as 1 1.4 kilo so I need to change this to 1.4 kilo this is 40 microfarad uh, we assumed actually this is 10 microfarad 10 microfarad actually this should be greater than so we can assume it is 100 microfarad also so for those designs we'll see in the later actually if you require I will go with that also in later videos now this VCC we have to use 12 volts now before going to do the frequency analysis or a transient analysis I mean before that we need to check verify the operating point of this tra transistor so for that reason if you see in here there is a simulate if you click it and edit simulation command if you go here so many analysis will be there AC analysis, DC sweep, noise, DC transfer and transient analysis this transient analysis means if you give a small input signal we are, are we getting a, a large signal or not AC's performance is very simple what is the gain versus frequency response this DC sweep is for uh, to find the uh, DC when you are changing the DC voltage at the input what is the current changing this noise and DC transfer is not required this is the main point we need to see DC operating point if you click on that and you click OK so there is a command of dot operating point so if you run this tool now so we are getting some error CC is not there so double generating so we cannot change the names actually so it should be like C1 C2 so for convenient I have changed it to the, the capacitance value uh, names so if we run again then we can verify see the VC we got there when we are designing 8.5 so we assumed or we got 8.5 now we are getting 8.53 and so on VB we are getting 3.9 so actually it was 4.2 and VA it was 3.5 anyway this VCC is 12 volts now V out so v, v in is 0 because we are doing the DC analysis and V out anyway we don't require see the IC it is 0 0.0023 so that is 2.3 milliampere so actually it was 2.5 milliampere and see the IE also it is approximately same as the IC now actually we are not getting exact operating point because 2.3 milliampere we are getting so what is the reason is uh, we have taken R1 is approximately R2 times of R2 so if you change this R1 as less than that 2 times like 18k I am taking if you run again you can see the variations now see VC is reduced as to 8.23 but see the VB it is increased by as 4.2 is required and similarly VE also 3.5 we are getting IC is equal to 2.5 exactly and I, I, IE also we are getting 2.5 milliampere see when you are designed you may not get perfect exact uh, values when you are doing the practically so there will be always plus or minus uh, 1% 2% maybe 5% up to there is a variations so that can be everywhere so so we can we can say it is 90 percent of the designs we got exact values right now next thing is we need to do the frequency response we need to verify the frequency response of this C amplifier for that reason we have to do the AC performance so for the input we need to give the magnitude 
so why i am selecting ac magnitude as one is so this tool or when you do uh, the any simulation we cannot find directly the gain that is v naught by v in always we can find the output voltage so for that reason if you assume magnitude as one so that will become v naught v out by v in is equal to v out only if you measure v out that is a frequency response directly it is giving so that's why we have chosen the ac magnitude as one now to simulate again edit simulation command and go to ac analysis so in ac analysis there is a type of space generally when you go to frequency response always we go for the logarithmic so that's why type of sup is ticket number of points per decade is 10 anyway decade means 10 only start frequency we cannot give 0 because 20 log 0 is undefined so i am giving start frequency as 1 and start frequency we can give 10 megahertz or 100 megahertz etc depending on the bandwidth required or how we design so this is command of the ac performance when you simulate or run so we are getting the a window scheme now where we need to check v out if you see the v out the gain is constant here that is the bandwidth where the fl and fh if you see this point is approximately 40 to 45 in between so that means we are getting 43 db or something else if you place a cursor here and if you look here it is 42.65 db now we designed for 150 gain if you convert that 150 linear gain into db it is approximately 43 db 43 db and we are getting the exactly same as the we designed for so this dotted line is in the phase response and this is the magnitude response so that is our gain so if you see the fl so 42 minus 3 so 39 db so that is fl you can measure like it is greater than 100 h and where it is down is approximately after 10 mega edge so the bandwidth is approximately 10 mega edge for this design now how can you improve the bandwidth it's very simple so i told you already the c coupling capacitor and bypass capacitor is reason at the low frequency so if you increase the capacitance value as 40 microfarad to 100 microfarad 100 microfarad now if you can verify now the simulation again you can check this uh, line is shifted towards origin so you cannot say origin towards one hedge we see now it is approximately less than the previous one so fl is reduced so it's very simple so uh, generally f is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc if c is increasing f will be automatically will decrease so now you may ask sir i mean why you change only ce why not this coupling capacitor c3 and c2 because even though if you change the C2 and C3 coupling capacitor, there is no exact change. Or, um, I mean, you may not get a change, a slight change you will get, right? But if you see, if you change the coupling cap bypass capacitor, you, you get a large change compared to the C2 and C3. So that's why we can change the 100 mi 40 microfarad to 100 microfarad to reduce the FL, right? So this is how the frequency response we can measure